I love the lived in liner look. I've done this quite a few times on my channel. I've demoed it, I don't know, I think maybe once or twice. I've worn it a bunch. Um, but there are like two problems with it that I always have is one, it makes my eyes look smaller. I almost make, I feel like it makes me look almost like beady. And then two is I never really know what lip color to wear with it. So today I'm wearing Kind from Fit Glow. It's one of the new summer colors, but I don't know. I'm, I never can find a color of lip that I'm like happy with. Because every time I do the lived in liner look, I like to go sort of like, I don't know, almost more like natural on the rest of my face. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so we're here for another PR and purchases video. This is, I think, mostly purchases this time. Um, there's some PR stuff, of course, obviously. It's PR and purchases. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm putting this out a little bit later because I'm going to include the clean beauty box in it and the detox box. Um, I'm gonna briefly go over some subscription box stuff in the beginning and then we'll get into all the rest of the stuff. So talking subscription boxes, the first one, this one actually just came in the mail today. This is the newest Skylar Scent Club scent. It's called Love in Paradise. Um, so it's exotic passionate and tropical. It's got scent notes of sweet pineapple, island papaya, and pekake flower. Um, there's also um, some vanilla bean and ylang ylang, or alang ylang, or however you say it. It's really, the box is really pretty this month. Um, so yeah, let's uh, try this for the first time together. I've never, well, I haven't smelled this yet because it just came in the mail today. I get a lot of vanilla. I'm not the biggest vanilla fan. Oh, there's the pineapple. It's like sort of deeper when you put it on and then it's developing a little bit more fruity. So I'll let it sit for a little while and then we'll sort of smell it again at the end of the video because sometimes it changes a little bit over time um, as it sits on my skin. I really loved last month's Salt Air. That one was really unique and something I don't have in you know any of my other perfumes. It was like salty and seaweedy and it was really cool. I really loved that one. I wore it like all month long. But yeah, this is the newest Skylar scent, Love in Paradise. If you're into you know tropical, fruity, exotic scents. So I'm just gonna briefly go over two of these which I have already done videos on. So the box walla has been extended until August 10th, which I think will be three days after I post this video. I think I'm posting this on August 8th or August 7th and it is open until August 10th. So we've got the Sea Change Cleansing Balm, the Modern Love Gomage Gel and the Sweet Briar hydrating nectar and if you want to see more information about those watch me demo them um, check out the video i'll go ahead and put it up in the cardi things if you feel like clicking on that does anybody actually click on those anytime i ever see those get like you know if they're on somebody's video i never click on them i don't know i'll do it anyway um and then the beauty heroes box which you saw on monday but if you didn't watch that video for whatever reason and you're watching this video if you want to know more about the Maya Chia Beauty Heroes box, which contains the Refreshment Resurfacing Moisture Mask, which is the newest launch from Maya Chia. Um, I featured this, I wanna say two PR videos ago, or maybe it was last month's PR video. Honestly can't remember, time escapes me, um, but I really loved it. it. This is definitely my second favorite box from the whole year so far. I loved the Graydon box a lot. Um, and I really love this one as well because Maya Chia makes really, really great products. So the Refreshment Moisture Mask um, and then the Optimist Hydrating Essence in a 1.7 ounce size. It usually is uh, 3.4 ounces, I, I wanna say, is the full size. So check out those two videos if you wanna hear more about those. So the Clean Beauty Box this month, um, I'm not gonna talk about a ton because I don't actually know if it's gonna be available by the time this video happens, that's sort of become the problem with the Clean Beauty boxes. They're not available anymore since they've switched to bi-monthly. I don't know if they've capped subscriptions or something, but they're they're selling out extremely quickly and they're not, um, there's not, there wasn't even any for August for a while, but then they got a few from 
you know, from the brand. It's from Pink Light Botanicals. So these are the two products being featured in the box this month. It is the Pink Light Crystal Facial Tonic um, Skin Illuminating Oil. So it is a facial oil. When I read this as tonic, um, I thought it was gonna be a mist. I was a little bit disappointed to see that it was an oil. I'm just, I'm so oiled out. I can't even like hide the fact that I am oiled out anymore. So um, let's see if I can tell you some ingredients. So it's got jojoba, it's got sunflower, sweet almond, raspberry, rosehip, um, sea buckthorn, calendula, comfrey, vitamin E, elderberry, and rose. So I haven't actually used this. Um, I mean, it smells really good actually. So here is, if I can give you some color. I mean, because it, it's got the sea buckthorn and the rosehip, which tend to um, make oils very, that like really sort of like deep orange or brown, whatever color you want to classify this as. And my camera's not gonna focus on it because it's, oh, there it goes. It's like amber, like a deep amber. So, I mean, I'm gonna have to try it um, at some point, but um, yeah, that's the first product in the box. I believe that one is valued at $80, yeah. And then the other one is the Rose Petal Enzyme Mask. So we are getting, if you get both the Beauty Heroes and Clean Beauty box, you're getting two enzyme masks. The, uh, I'm gonna be doing a separate video just on the enzyme masks that I have because I really, I didn't really wanna do a separate video for a Clean Beauty box this month and I thought that would be a fun way to incorporate, you know, the, um, the Beauty Heroes one, even though I am doing a separate Beauty Heroes video, but then also incorporating this plus other enzyme masks I have and sort of comparing them against each other, giving you my recommendations of which ones I think um, are the best, which ones are my favorite. So I thought that would be a fun video. So that's coming this month. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Botanical Brightening Treatment. It's a $40 value so I have used this once already because this was sort of like my more this was like the more interesting product in the box for me not so much the oil but this one's a $40 value um, but yeah if there are any clean beauty box subscriptions left um, I'll leave the link for that below I'm not sure if it's going to be sold out by the time um, I, I got to uh, I got around to posting this video because I know that they did get a few extra units um, but I don't know how many or how long they'll last. So yeah, if you're interested in this box at all, check the link below and see if there is um, any available and if not, set yourself on the wait list. Um, but yeah, I'll be talking about those two enzyme masks. I will have talked about the Beauty Heroes one on Monday, but I will be talking about those two enzyme masks. I'm sorry, my nose is itchy. My whole face is itchy right now. I'm not really sure why. Um, plus a bunch of other enzyme masks in more detail in another video. Probably I'm aiming for like next week, I think. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Detox Market also really quickly because I, I'm not gonna do a separate video for this one either. I just can't do separate videos for everything every month. It's just gonna have to be sort of like pick and choose. But I think what I'm gonna do this month is do like a little IGTV on this box, like separately over on Instagram. So if you have Instagram and you do the IGTV thing, I resisted for a long time, but I think it, it would be a good way to put up shorter videos that I don't necessarily wanna upload to my YouTube channel because I'm not looking to upload like every single day. Um, it's just way too much work for me. I just, I don't have the time to sit here and film that many videos, but you know, every once in a while I can film like a shorter video for the IGTV and just throw it up there so it's there all the time. I, I, um, I posted my makeup, my makeup look that I did last week, my favorite summer skincare and makeup over to IGTV and it did really well over there. So um, uh, you'll probably, if you, you know, if you do the IGTV thing, you'll probably see a video or two from time to time from me over there. Anyway. Um, but yes, Josh Rosebrook is being featured in the Detox Market Box this month, which launches today, which is why I'm posting this on 8-7 because I wanted to include this in that, in I wanted to include this box in this video. My brain's also not working. It's like five something, our washing machine is not working. I'm just like frazzled and I need to wash sheets. <laughs> so it's like side story. So my husband, um, or um, let's back up. I did like three loads of laundry last night cause I, we were gonna work out today and I needed to have some like workout clothes that were clean. Um, so I ran a bunch of laundry last night and then I got up this morning and I guess at some point my husband had like gone in there and messed around with the faucet or something. He, he, went, he went in there and did something. I don't know what he did, but he was trying to, um, 
wash a load of laundry. So he was trying to wash, you know, his shorts. So there's like an error coming up on our washing machine now. It's something to do with like the pipes. There's like a water error, something. So he went in there after I had done laundry and messed up the washing machine and now we can't fix it. And so for, it's the cold water. So the cold water is not coming out. So we, like the, he broke something. I don't know what happened, honestly. I wasn't there when he did it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I took the sheets off the bed because I really need to wash the sheets and I was like, like he told me that it, they were going to be okay to wash on hot. So I was like, okay, so we have hot water, you know, that, that faucet is working. So, you know, we'll, we'll run them on hot. So I put my sheets in. We only have one set of sheets because our mattress is stupid. It's like, it's got a depth of 25 inches and I cannot find sheets that fit this stupid mattress. My dad bought it for us at an estate sale. <laughs> Who, I don't, I've never seen a mattress this big and obviously nobody else has either because nobody makes mattress or no, nobody makes sheets for this mattress size anyway. So we only have one set of sheets. So it's now, it's like 5.15 and Oliver goes to bed around seven to eight. So I had like a very limited amount of time to like wash the sheets. And I don't even know at this point if they're going to get washed. Also the sheets in here are dirty and they need to be cleaned. So I don't know what we're gonna do tonight about sheets and we have a, a plumber coming on Monday to try to fix it. If he doesn't fix it, he's out there right now screwing around with it because it's still not working. Anyway, so side, side story over. That's, that's also one of our f like frazzly things for the day. Just like th this day is, I can't. Anyway, so yes, so um, Josh Rosebrook is launching a new product in the detox market box this month, which is exciting. This is one that I didn't even know he was working on. I know he's been working on some face stuff for a while, but this is the uh, serum spray style, uh, the style serum spray, so it's for your hair. So it's for smoothing and anti-frizz. Um, it's a multifunction styling product that creates a smooth, defined, weightless finish and reduces frizz, softens, and protects hair against heat instrument damage. So it's like a leave-in, it's a like leave-in heat protectant. So like a, uh, it's like a heat protectant, I guess. Um, save time in your tresses with this all-in-one heat protective styling fluid. So yeah, it's like a heat protectant. So I still have been, I've used this twice so far as, as of this video. I'm going to be using it a couple of times before I release this video. Um, so that's why I'm talking about maybe doing an IGTV for this, um, over on Instagram. But I've used this twice and how I've used it is I've sprayed in a leave-in conditioner beforehand. So, you know, like sort of brush through my hair. And then I've sprayed this before I blow dry it. So like once it's towel dried, once it's you know, just sort of like slightly damp and not so much, um, you know, like soaking wet. And it doesn't weigh my hair down. It doesn't make my hair heavy. My hair seems pretty smooth and anti-frizzed. Um, as far as like heat damage, heat protective go, I don't really know that yet because um, I've only been using it a couple of times. I don't really think that's enough to sort of gauge whether it's protecting my hair from heat. But every time I do my hair, I do blow dry it and straighten it or curl it but I haven't done that in a few months now. But you know, I did that for I did that for a little while. Once I cut my hair again, I think I'll go back to curling it. But it's like it's too hot. It is too hot also to like be dealing with the curling iron and the heat and like all that. Maybe once winter, maybe winter, I'll start getting back into the hair thing. Um, so yeah, so that's a new product from Josh Rosebrook. Um, it's a twenty-eight dollar value. And then there are two other products in the Joss Rosebrook box this month, the all famous hydrating accelerator. Everybody knows this. Every time there's like a Josh box of like from any, from beauty heroes or the detox market, there, there seems to be always be one of these. I believe there was one of these the first time they featured Joss Rosebrook. I believe there's one of these every time um, beauty heroes has featured Joss Rosebrook. I mean, it's, it's an amazing product. I love, I love the hydrating accelerator. And then also the enzyme exfoliator. Um, this is a 0.75 ounce though. So it's the half of the full size. So yeah, that is the detox box this month. Um, I'm only going to be talking about this over on IGTV though, cause I've talked about the other things before. This is sort of the more interesting thing in the box anyway. So yeah, give that a couple of days. Um, and I will have something up on IGTV about the detox market, the Josh Rosebrook, the new Josh Rosebrook serum that's in the detox box. Okay, so um, I've got a couple of clothing things that I'm actually, let's just start with that. So I haven't, I've stopped nursing. Um, as you guys know, Oliver stopped nursing in 
I want to say April. Yeah, it was April because we lasted 31 months. So I'm still wearing like my nursing bras because I've been so lazy about um, finding, you know, like ethically made bras, um, things like that. But I finally bought some um, from Lively again. I bought a bunch from Lively. I bought a couple of nursing bras that I really, really like from Lively because they're like bras. They're not like ugly things that I bought from Amazon. I bought a bunch of nursing bras from Amazon. Just they're cheap. I'm not going to wear them forever. They were like bralette style. Um, but I like the ones that I bought from a slight interruption. My husband thinks he knows how to fix it. So he's going to go to Lowe's and get like a torch and a solder and just please pray. Please pray for me guys that he didn't bust the pipes and make it a bigger mess than it already is. <laughs> so anyway, what I was saying is I've already bought some stuff from Lively. I like their bralettes. Um, they were really cute. So I went ahead and I just bought a bunch more. I am still gonna be looking into other ethical clothing. Um, that's something that I wanna start doing on my channels like ethical clothing. Um, so yeah, Lively, I believe it's all woman owned. So in terms of like ethicalness, I don't really know where Lively stands. I know they're like an all woman brand. They've got their own factory. Um, their stuff is made in China. So I'm hoping, I mean, the, the prices of their, of their pieces aren't, you know, like cheap. So I'm hoping probably should have done more research on this, huh? Um, but I just, I really needed some underwear and like stuff so bad. And I know like Lively is a company that, I'm, I don't know, I'm comfortable with them, but I don't really know their story. So anyway, I bought, I bought a bunch of underwear. I wear like, you know, granny panties. <laughs> These ones were cute though. These are like lace. And then I bought um, some bralettes. So that's like the style I prefer now. Um, I hate regular bras, but I finally brought, bought some non-nursing I got, I got a few different styles. This one is the same as that last one, only black. This one is like sort of like an all-in-one. There's no closure, it just like, you know, goes over. This one matches those really cute underwear. I just needed some cute bras, you know? I haven't worn a cute bra in like four years. I needed some, man. I feel better about myself. Um, and then I also ordered a few shirts from Wholesome Culture. Um, they're an ethical clothing company. I think mainly, mainly they do shirts though. I think maybe they do a few other things, but I love this. This packaging um, was made using biodegradable material. I don't know how biodegradable this packaging is, but it was made using biodegradable material. I don't know how that works. Is there like, um, it's ethically made in wrap certified factories, printed using water-based ink, shipped in recycled packaging. They give 10% of their profits to animal rescue and environmental organizations. Um, yeah, I mean, I love wholesome, wholesome culture. And then um, I ordered four shirts, but they actually included um, a couple of bamboo straws. These are kind of cool. I've never seen anything besides, you know, like, um, stainless steel or uh, glass. But I think these are two different sizes. I think one is like smoothie size and one is like regular size because one is a little bit thicker than the other. So that was really cool that they included um, a couple of reusable straws for free. Wasn't expecting that. And then I got, a, I got four shirts. So what does this one say? A little more kindness, a little less judgment. That's cute. I'm really into like this style. I'm very much like a t-shirt and like shorts type of person. So team herbivore. Hopefully I'm getting this in frame. That's real cute. Um, this one, bloom where you are planted. And it's just like a bunch of flowers. have to like creep around the corner so you can see. And then this one is fun. Tequila is vegan. In case you needed a reminder. God, I could use a tequila right now. I could use a margarita. Who wants to make me a margarita? Okay. And then one other sort of like random thing before I get into 
um, sorry, all up in your face, everything else that's sitting here. Um, so a couple of you guys ordered Monk through my recommendations and um, last month they sent me a shirt. I didn't actually toss it in here. So like for getting a couple of referrals, they sent me a shirt um, in June. And then in July for getting a couple of referrals, they sent me a mug. <laughs> it's a Monk, a Monk mug. That's cute. Um, so yeah, maybe when I do like my Monk review, like a dedicated Monk review, I'll wear my Monk shirt and I'll drink out of my Monk mug. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I put everything in a box and I'm just gonna pull stuff off the top. I'm not doing this in any course or any sort of order. PR first, PR just first, whatever. It's just whatever's on top. So the first thing is PR actually. Um, Kosas sent me their new 10 second eyeshadow collection. So I have all eight of them, two, five, eight. Um, all eight of them. And I will be doing a separate swatch video and sort of like wear test for these. Cause yeah, these are really interesting. They're all vegan. The colors are really pretty. So I wanted to do something with these. They're very interesting. If you haven't like swatched them or felt them yet, they're like water that dries down, but they, and then when you like rub them, they don't budge. So they're very, they like stay. Um, and then they rinse off with water. You don't even need to use like oil or makeup remover or anything like that. They just remove really cleanly. They don't stain. They're really interesting. So yeah, that will also probably be coming next week. I want to get that out pretty quick because these are a newer product. I know people are really interested in these. So that's coming soon. Um, and then I also ordered a foundation from the all natural face. I have a new, um, video series idea that I want to start doing where it's like, products in categories like one specific category but low um low like the a low price point a medium price point and a high price point so i'm going to be doing that first with foundations and micellar water i think so i just need to get those out so i needed a um inexpensive foundation and i knew i know the all natural face is very inexpensive so i just bought I just bought their foundation to sort of test against um, Modern Minerals and Alima Pure. And that video, those videos will be up eventually. <laughs> Once I get to everything else that I'm doing. So Antonin B, um, which is a hair care company, sent me some of their newest products. So they're releasing um, some new hair care products in September. Though I'm not sure if they were just available on the Night for Green Beauty. I haven't looked at the website, but I think she told me that they were going to be they were going to be available in um, September. So um, she's got two new products launching, I think. So she sent me a full size of one and a um, like a deluxe size of the other. So that's the, the the one of them is the Backstage Cocktail Street Fix. Um, which is a remineralizing hairspray for lift, shine, and soft hold spray on wet, dry hair and style. It's made with rum, rum from Guadalupe. So yeah, I think that's I think that's really cool. So there's nettle, bamboo, rum, glycerin, sugar cane, all. Um, oh, it does. It kind of smells like a drink. Um, all natural ingredients. So she sent me the full size of this one because she thought that I would be the most interested in that one. So, and then the other one is the Backstage Cocktail Editorial Fix, which is a remineralizing gel for shine and firm, movable hold, and then again, made with the same rum from Guadalupe. So there's a gel, if you're more of like a gel person, there's a gel coming. And then if you're more of like a spray person, which I am, I am more of like a spray or a foam. I'm very, very partial to volumizing foams lately, um, but I love a good spray. Um, so yeah, those are the two new products coming. She also sent me a new bottle of the Serum Dew Desert Aw ceramides. I'm obviously butchering that because English is my first language. <laughs> it's a hair strengthening serum for damaged, dry, and color treated hair. I have talked about this and reviewed it on my channel. Um, it's been a little while though, so I'm happy to have a new bottle of that. And then she sent me some rum. <laughs> this is rum de Guadalupe. So. Um, so for, uh, the, the official cocktail, press the quarter of a lime into a small glass, add one teaspoon of brown cane sugar, 
Stir juice, rind, and sugar, add this bottle of rum and serve. You know what? I might need to do that soon. I think there was some sugar in here too. Yeah, there is. There's a little packet of sugar, pure cane sugar. So um, I might have to make myself a little cocktail once the youngin goes to bed. So yeah, if you've never heard of Anton and B, definitely check out their stuff. They did do free international shipping for A Night for Green Beauty, so I hope that if you saw that and you were interested, you partook because she does ship from Paris, um, France. So it is, you know, a hefty, in, uh, hefty shipping charge to ship to here. I don't know if she's actually in any retail stores, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to investigate that for you guys. Um, so I have a refill of some hum vitamins. I am taking the um, Skin Heroes pre and probiotic. I had some credit left on my hum account, so um, I did place my order through them. Usually I would just buy it through Detox Market, but since I had some credit on hum still left to use up, I just went ahead and used it there. And then they do send some samples, um, like every time they send you a shipment. I got the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask from Glow Recipe, um, which, I mean, the ingredients don't look awful. And then the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Um, the ingredients aren't actually that bad on here, on, on either one of these, but I don't know that I will use them. I'm not really like interested in getting into Glow Recipe. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was just sort of like a refill from Hum. I like these probiotics, especially my skin is like a disaster right now. I do not know what's going on. It's a complete friggin mess. Okay, so we're gonna talk about some Earthwise Beauty. So they're re-releasing the Celine Facial Steam. Um, I think they just got like a new, they had a new like harvest or something like that. So they sent over the new Celine Facial Steam. So the Celine Facial Steam is supposed to be for like redness, irritation, inflammation, dull skin, um, acne, and redness prone. So she sent me that. Oliver found me. Um, hello, you. And then she sent me a bunch of other stuff um, that's supposed to help with redness. So I was thinking what I could do is do sort of like a redness routine for Earthwise. So I got a refill of the Catharsis Face Mask. Um, which is firming, acne reducing, soft powder mask. Also the Ferrisod's Veil Sun Reflector, which she said to mix in with Catharsis um, for like a redness reducing mask, because this is zinc. And zinc is in a lot of like redness reducing products. Okay, I'm having a hard time today. What else is in here? Oh, she did send me a empty bottle because she said one of the uses for Celine is to like seam um, like a cup of it and then let it cool and put it in a spray bottle and use it as sort of like a toner as like a redness reducing toner So I'll be doing that. I also got a refill of the Sun God face mask, which is a reparative mask for all skin types He went to the store he'll be back and then lastly And then lastly, I got a new jar of the Tiger's Face Balm, which is a light face balm for acne prone skin. And it is liquid. I need to put that one in the refrigerator to um, firm it up. Okay, so next, what do we have? We have something from Lena Hansen. They reached out and wanted to send me some stuff. So they sent me um, their Global Body Serum and their Global Face Serum. So Hydrating Serum and Skin rejuvenate, uh, skin Rejuvenator for all ethnicities and skin types. So that's those two. Okay, so then 100% Pure was having a 70% off or some sort of semi-annual sale. I don't know what the hell they were doing, but they had a bunch of stuff that was um, on sale. So I've actually been wanting to try their bamboo blur powder for a while and they had the translucent shade left by the time I, um, I saw the sale. So I did get that and then I also picked up one of their gemmed highlighters in rose gold. 
I kind of regret buying this. I didn't really need it. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to like it. So this is rose gold. Let's show you a little swatch here. Uh, it doesn't really pick up much at all. It's not really rose gold. It's sort of almost more like, I don't know, champagne to me. It's the other one that they have, the other their other luminizer is like a pink color. But, I mean, they were on sale, so it's not like the total end of the world. Okay, so then I bought some brushes from MOTD Cosmetics. I've got a lot of their eye brushes, but I wanted to get their face brushes, and I think they were doing some sort of sale. Again, some sort of sale. So I picked up a few of their face brushes. So what did I pick up? Okay, I picked up the Buffing Base Boss, which is just their flat top. I haven't used any of these or washed them yet, obviously. I also got their Supermodel Sculpt, which is for more like contour. Contour, and then I got the Lightning Crew, which is supposed to be for highlighter, so there's that one. And then I got the Beauty and the Base, which is more of like a buffing kabuki, but it's really small. The kabukis I like to use to sort of buff in powder foundations are um, much like wider. Uh-huh, okay, fluffier than that. We'll see how that does. And then I picked up the Conceal Your Secret, which is um, like a concealer style. And then I did pick up a couple of my favorite um, eye brushes just to have more. Miss Shady Lady and the Sultry Smudge. I love this brush. It's like irrational to love a, a brush that much, but I do. I love the Sultry Smudge brush so much. It is so perfect for that lower lash line for smudging, so perfect. Okay, and then I picked up a couple of these. So in, I think my last one, I talked about the GMA, Good Morning America Deals and Steals or something like that. Um, so I've been, I keep an eye on that every week just to see what sort of like pops up on it. And then a couple of weeks ago, the Quick Flick um, showed up on it. So the Quick Flick actually just recently got launched in Choosy Chick. Um, I'd placed an order on Choosy Chick, um, but I was sort of waiting on like a back order of it. it. So she hadn't sent it out yet. And then I saw it pop up on the GMA Deals and Steals and I could get three for cheaper than I bought two for. So yes, I didn't support a small business in this case, but I kind of wanted to try them and it's, I mean, they're expensive. They're $30 each. So, you know, we got to save money when we can. So I picked up three. I picked up the one that's to the point. Let's see if I can sort of show you the, um, the sizing here. So there's to the point, there's petite, and then I also picked up modest, which is their sort of like middle, middle size. So there is also a grand, their grand size, and they have these in different colors. I bought all mine in black because I don't really like brown eyeliner um, or blue. And then they're they actually, they're um, launching new colors this week, I think. So they have like a hot pink one coming, like an orange. I think there's a red. I think there's another blue. I forget what other color, maybe yellow. I don't know, but they're launching a bunch of new colors. So I thought these would be fun, um, maybe as an IGTV, maybe as a video. I haven't really decided yet, so I haven't tried them, obviously. Um, but yeah, these are, um, they're supposed to be, so what are they? So they're like um, wing stamps. So you guys know that I don't do winged eyeliner, but I've always wanted to try. I'm very, very bad at drawing them when I have tried and they just look stupid. So I thought if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna make a winged liner work, this is how I'm gonna be able to do it. So this is what, we're gonna be trying this at some point. Um, so then I also received one of these Zinc It Over Fine and Sheer Sunscreen Facial Mists from Seriously Fab. I've been wanting to try their sunscreen mists for a long time. Um, and I finally reached out and I was like, hey, I'd love to try it, show it on my channel. Cause I'm, I, the summer is like over now. I keep talking about, um, I should just like film my sunscreen video soon. Cause I'm not actually planning on picking up any more. I was sort of waiting for this one to come in the mail. So I think I'm gonna be doing it in like a couple of different categories, like sunscreen that you can use over makeup, um, sunscreen you can use under makeup, and then like body sunscreen. I think, I think that's what I'm planning on doing. So I gotta do that quick because before it, it like doesn't even matter anymore. But yeah, this is kind of like a cool concept because you spray it and it like remists 
Doing it on a black shirt, though, is not the best idea. Um, it, like, re you missed it, and it um, gives you some... I don't have brains sometimes. But yeah, you wanna do it like far enough away from your face so that way you don't end up like with like white droplets. I'm thinking I did okay, I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah, it's to sort of, but it's to use over makeup to like reapply sunscreen, you know, after you've done it at some point during the day. I kinda look like I have dandruff now. Anyway, we're almost done. We only have a couple of packages left. So I ordered from Alima Pure and I didn't, open up this stupid package and I'm not gonna go out there and do it now. Um, so I ordered a refill of Neutral 3 because they were doing a foundation sale. So Neutral 3 is the satin mount foundation, the loose one that I use and I wanted to back up because I'm almost, I'm about done with my first jar of it and I love that stuff. So I bought a backup jar of that and then I bought a pressed powder in Nutmeg, I wanna say. It's the shade after Sesame, which I do have a, in Sesame, but I wondered if that was gonna to be too light because I haven't tried it yet. Um, so I bought the next shade up. So that's what's in here. <laughs> um, okay, so then I also placed some uh, an order from Integrity Botanicals because I'm looking for a new deodorant. I've talked about this a couple of times. I don't know what's going on with Ola deodorant. I really don't think they're gonna be around that much longer if they're even still around. So I've been picking up um, uh, deodorants here and there. I'm testing a deodorant right now. Once I'm done testing that one, I'm gonna be testing you know, a bunch of other ones. I'm planning on testing each one for at least three weeks in a row and not using any other deodorants in between, just to sort of get a real feel for it, test it out in certain situations. Does it work in the gym? Does it work day to day? Does it irritate my underarms? Because that's, that's what I need. That's what I need in a deodorant. It needs to work no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm sitting at home all day, whether I'm out at a theme park um, in a, on a hot summer day, whether I'm at the gym. It needs to work in all situations. It needs to never irritate my arm, my underarms, um, it, and it needs to smell good. Those are really, those are really like my criteria. So I picked up a couple from Integrity Botanicals. I think this is called Lone. Uh, Lone de deodorant. This is the coconut lime scent. Um, this is vegan, I do believe. And I don't think this one has, um, no, it doesn't have baking soda. This one smells really good. It smells like key lime pie. And then I also picked up the baking soda free Blackberry Betty from Routine. So they, the Routine ones come in a jar and, um, or a pot, I guess. So this is the routine one. It smells, it smells pretty good. So um, I think I'm gonna have six. I think there'll be six deodorants um, once I finish my testing. So right now I'm using the Agent Natur one just because I have it. Um, no spoilers though. And then what else do I have? I bought the Prim Botanicals one just recently. Um, I have the Soap Walla deodorant, and then there is, what is the last one? Paper Y. So I think those are the six deodorants that are gonna go in my next deodorants video. It's gonna be a while, because I'm gonna, remember, like I said, I'm gonna be using one at, at, at each one at least three weeks, um, so maybe longer, but um, I really wanna get a good feel for the deodorant, whether it works or not. And then to make it past free shipping, um, I bought a or Osmia Lavender Shea soap. Her soaps are expensive. How much should I pay for this? I don't know, it doesn't say it on the receipt. I think it's like nearly $20 for like a soap these days. I, almost, I mean, like sometimes I feel guilty <laughs> spending that much on soap. Okay, and the last thing, oh no, second to last thing, because I have one thing I meant to talk about in the beginning, but it was hidden behind a box. So Activist sent me some products from their new collection. Um, they've recently repackaged. They've launched a couple of new products. Very, very exciting. Okay, so she sent me two cleansers. The first is the Botanical Cleansing Oil, which is a, what is it focusing on? <laughs> it's a Botanical Cleansing Oil. It is um, emulsifying, I do believe. There we go, there it is. And then um, that comes with a pump. So it came with a pump. Then this is a new product. This is the skin, the sea to skin cleansing gel, which is a very, it's a very cool texture. Now it's gonna focus on Oliver and not anything else that I'm doing. There it is. 
It kind of smells like fish. <laughs> it does have like, it's got blue algae in it. Um, where's the full ingredient list? Is there like seaweed in here? Cause it does smell very like sea. There's spirulina, which makes it blue. I don't, there might not be anything in here other than the blue algae. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look up the full ingredient list. It does, but it, it's, if you're very offended by like ocean scents, you know, like fish and seaweed and stuff, you probably won't like that. Um, but I haven't tried it yet. I'll give you like a review when I do, you guys know. Then there, this is another new product. That's the Healing Water Toning Mist. And then um, these two, I think they've been, um, form reformulated a little bit. It's the active hydration signature serum. She used to do custom serums. I don't think she's doing that anymore. And then the precious oils active infusion. So yeah, those are the new, it's the new activist packaging, some new products. Oliver's back there playing on his tablet. I found something at the bottom of the box that I forgot was in there. Alex sent me um, the new the new formula of the Moonlight Nectar because um, I talked about the old formula in my Nini Organics review and he sent me the new formula of it. I haven't used it yet, but I am so excited. I need to add that into my night routine like right now. Okay, so the last thing isn't beauty related. So if you don't care about anything besides beauty related things this will probably be of no interest to you but i get i, I get a green chef still um i get green chef and purple carrot they just make my life so much easier i probably at some point the before the end of the year will be doing like a green chef versus purple carrot video because i do want to um i haven't i haven't done like a dedicated video on purple carrot or green chef and i do want to he turned the uh the sound on um, I do want to, but in one of my purple carrot, not sorry, but in one of my green chef deliveries recently, there was a coupon. He's going to shut the door. Um, he's done with me. There was a coupon for this company called Pevolve, um, which is like a fitness, fitness website. So I think it's sort of like Beachbody where they have like, um, different weight loss programs and like they have a streaming service and like all that. I'm not interested in doing like any kind of streaming services, but I want to do more workouts at home. So I work out at the gym, um, at EOS fitness two to three times a week. It sort of depends on the week. We, I went this last Thursday. I went today. We have plans to go tomorrow. So I think we're, we're trying to go at least for me. Um, cause I can really go only three times a week because of, you know, my husband's schedule and you know, Oliver can only be there when the kids club is open. So all that. So I want to find workouts that I can do at home to also help tone other parts of my body. All I'm really doing when I go to the gym is I'm on the elliptical for like an hour and a half because that's what I like to do at the gym. I don't like doing weights. I don't like other people. I, I don't like gyms. They're crowded. That's why I like my gym so much is because I can like go hide in the cinema room. It's dark. Nobody cares about you. We're all watching movies or watching the movie. So anyway, when I saw this Pevolve coupon um, show up in my Green Chef box, it's 30%, they, it was like 30% off, you know, a purchase at Pevolve. I went and took a look and I went to go see what they had. So I bought some stuff. So I bought, what did I buy anyway? Okay, so I bought something for arms. So I bought the set um, for the 20 minute sculpted arms and abs with the P band. So you're gonna have to go to the Pevolve website to sort of like see what I'm talking about with all of this stuff. But this is a web, uh, this is a workout specifically for arms. And it came with um, this like, uh, these like arm, these like hand bands. So it's like two gloves connected together by a band um, that you use for like arm workouts for toning and strengthening like arms. So I really wanted to do like an arm. I wanted something for arms because I don't do any arm exercises now. I really need to. It's gonna look really weird if I have like flabby arms, but like the rest of my body looks good. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys know I'm working on like weight loss stuff. So then I also picked up um, a couple of other things. So I picked out the 30 day evolution for workout options. So there's the standing sculpt, the micro tone, the lift and firm and the complete evolution. It says transform your body in 30 days. Um, 
so yeah, that's this one. Uh, so it's got like different workouts for different parts of the body. And then I think that one needed, or like you, you, it used certain, um, other equipment. So I, I think these, what are these ankle weights? I bought ankle weights, right? Is that what I bought? Yeah. I bought ankle weights. So I bought ankle weights for the workouts. So tone my legs and my butt. This is an ankle band, so it's like the arm one that I just showed you, only this one attaches to your ankles and then you use it, you know, for workouts using your legs. And then I also bought gliders, which are things that you can put on the floor and then you um, go to the website. I can't explain all this crap. I don't know. I don't know workout terms. I'll link the gliders below so you can see what I'm talking about. But like I wanted to get a bunch of different workout stuff that I could do at home since I can't go to the gym um, every single day. Would be nice if I had that kind of time. But like the way that it goes when I go to the gym now is like I have to I go to the gym, spend an hour, hour and a half there depending on the day. Um, then I have to come home and I have to shower. And like it takes like four hours out of my day to like work out. So anyway, I wanted to get some stuff to work out at home because I wanna start doing more like toning stuff. I'm down eight pounds. I haven't lost weight in like two weeks. Um, I don't know if I've sort of like plateaued, but this is not the point that I wanna plateau on. So I need to sort of like get it in gear and um, lose. I wanna lose at least two more pounds before I do a video. Um, talking about my weight loss and like all the things that I've done. And then, you know, obviously once I've gotten to the weight that I want to be at, which would be another eight to 13 pounds, I'm not really sure where I want to end at. Hopefully I can get there. Um, then I'll do like a final like reveal video. I didn't take any like before pictures though. So it's not going to be like one of those crazy transformation videos. It's just going to be like how, how I got healthy. I'm going to be talking about the things that I did, strategies I think that could be helpful, you know, things like that. So, I mean, this is my first real like experience with like getting healthy and working out and losing weight in a way that is sustainable and like makes sense and not just, you know, like starving myself. And I'm, I'm not talking about like anorexia. <laughs> I don't want people to get like the wrong idea of what I'm talking about, but like, you know, I, I, I think that there are too many people who don't really know how to lose weight and how to do it healthy, how to do it sustainably, how to do it. Um, Cause really it's all about like patience and just like building habits and not, you know, just getting off track when you have like one bad day or if you eat something, you know, not just saying screw it and like, you know, just going ham, but like, you know, it's okay to have cheat meals every once in a while. Not so much like cheat days, but like cheat meals. Anyway, I don't wanna to talk too much about that because I do wanna save it for like a video that I wanna work on for, you know, dealing with weight loss and like my weight loss and all of that. But yes, that's what I'm working on. I'm working on losing weight. I'm working on getting healthy. I'm working about working on feeling good about myself. My skin is another story, but I'm working on my body. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you thought about anything. I have plans for these things. I have plans for things. Um, before anybody asks, um, Aislinn Quinn is, I, I hope to God that's how you pronounce it. A Aislinn Quinn, Aislinn Quinn. Um, that is my next brand review on deck. So the next brand review you will see from me is from that company. I know that you guys have been asking for it for a while. I showed it a couple of videos back or a couple PR videos back. So it's been a couple of months, but that's my next one on deck. Um, Nini Organics I had received first. So that's the one I was working on first. And so now I can work on finishing up my Aislin Quinn testing, getting that video done. So that is my next brand review. It'll still be a little bit, but before you guys tell me again, that's what you wanna see. That is what I'm working on. <laughs> so yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or any requests or anything that you wanna see me review. If you have something from a company that you haven't seen me talk about that you want me to, want to see me review, let me know. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all that I've got today. I'm gonna to take my beady black eyes out of here. I hate my skin today. I really do, I don't know why. I don't know what I am doing to it, but it's like, I am so broken out, like all around here. And I know that could be hormonal, but it's, 
not like cystic, it's all like really little ones, but there's a lot of them. So I don't know if I'm using something that's freaking out my skin. I may have talked about this in my Monday video because I haven't filmed my Monday video yet and it's gonna be about Maya Chia, but I do have plans to talk about this in my Maya Chia video because I'm wondering if it's the Chia. I know that I've said I don't really find Chia to be comedogenic for me in the past, but I'm wondering if it's because the Chia that I've used has been like in um, other products where it's not just straight Chia, but because I'm using like a straight Chia oil, I'm wondering if that's too much for my skin. I won't really know until I stop using it and test something else, so just a hypothesis for the moment. Anyway, my cat's scratching at the door and I gotta go check on my kids. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>